Good morning, Fern Hill. This is Mrs. Ganji. I thought you might like to hear a story today. This is called Clifford Takes a Trip. I'll show you the pictures after I read each page. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth. This is a happy day for me. This is the last day of school. Summer vacation is here. Now I can play with my dog Clifford. There's a picture. We don't go on long vacation trips. It's too hard to get Clifford on a bus or train. We only go places that Clifford can walk to, like picnics in the park. Last year was different. Last year we went to the mountains. Mommy and Daddy said it was too far for Clifford to walk. So we left him with the lady next door. He's looking pretty sad. That night, Clifford was lonely, and he began to howl. He howled and howled and he howled until someone threw a shoe at him. It didn't hurt Clifford's nose, but it did hurt his feelings. The next morning, Clifford set out to find us. He snipped his way along the road. Clifford didn't mean to make trouble, but a lot of people had never seen a big red dog before. Clifford kept going. Nothing could stop him. And then he saw a little old man trying to fix his truck. The man needed help. So Clifford stopped and helped him. He took the little old man to a garage. The little old man gave Clifford a little lunch to thank him for his help. Did you get that one? There we go. Nothing stopped him, not even wet cement. And traffic jams didn't stop him. Clifford just tiptoed over the cars. And then... He came to a toll bridge. A toll bridge you have to pay to cross. Clifford had no money, but that didn't stop him. We didn't know that Clifford was coming. I found some new playmates, two baby bears. I was having so much fun. I didn't see the mama bear. She didn't want strangers to play with her babies. She growled. I was in real trouble. Then we heard a louder growl. Guess who was growling? Mama Bear was surprised. She even forgot her babies. I told Clifford that Mama Bear was only protecting her children. Clifford doesn't get angry very often. Good old Clifford took those baby bears back to Mama Bear. That was nice. Then he took us all back to camp. Mommy and Daddy were surprised to see Clifford. I told them how Clifford saved my life. So they let Clifford stay with us. Next year, maybe we will find a way to take Clifford with us when we go on vacation. I hoped you enjoyed the story. Make sure you're reading at home. Read with mom and dad, read with little brothers or big brothers or little sisters, big sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins, whoever you can read with. We hope we'll see you soon, and we hope everybody's doing okay. Bye.